Hey, how is everyone doing? So in today's video, we're going to talk about the new FPGA cores that were released on August 8th. So as I'm recording this August, was it August 9th? I'm a little day behind. I was on a trip. So today I am back home. I got all my stuff, all my setup. So I'm gonna, let's, let's talk about it. There's three of them which came out, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a big, quick rundown on all three of them. Then in a separate video, I'll show you how to set them up. It's fairly simple. I'll show you how they look so that way everyone can see it. But in this video, we're just going to go over quickly the three that are available. I'll run through some of the games and then um, that'll be the end of this video. So without further ado, please do all that good YouTube stuff for me. Uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you everyone and let's get into the video. All right, so here we are. Here's a great website to show you the latest pocket cores. Now, as you can tell, we currently have seven cores that could be used. As you can see here is the Space Wars one that was released alongside the new update. And here are some new ones that were released while I was currently on vacation, like I mentioned. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna show you how they look on and run on the pocket real quick and then I'll make extra videos showing you how to set it up as well that way in case you guys want to try yourselves it's always pretty you know it's a good thing to have these videos but that way you guys can see how it's done on it and I'm gonna you know do everything that way you guys can see it so let's switch over back to the pocket and let's just show you the rest of the stuff there all right so now that we're back so let's go ahead and show you the new cores that just came out. So let's quit from my cartridge and let's go to open FPGA. And as you can see from prior, uh, we just had, before we just had Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Neo Geo. Now we have Game Gear, Sega Master System, and Sega 1000. So without further ado, let's get into the video real quick. So we're gonna start with Game Gear. Now, some of this stuff can be played on the EverDrive some of them may not be played well, but this looks like it's gonna be a game changer as well compared to the EverDrive. Now this system, in my opinion, just keeps getting better and better. And with the more cores added, this is just gonna be a beast. So let's start with Game Gear. Now this is one of my favorite things about the way the core setup is. It shows you, gives you a little bit of information, shows you manufacturer of Sega, release was 1990, and it gives you a little image of the device itself. So let's start game gear now let's go to run you already have some games preloaded now let's go to something that is more familiar to everybody let's go to you know lion king's pretty familiar to everybody let's do lion king okay here we go now real quick you can tell loads up really fast much faster than the game Boy advance one but it's a smaller game much smaller game in comparison I believe these are in the kilobytes while Game Boy Advance is in the megabytes. Put the volume up that way everybody can hear. The one thing I will notice is that sound is significantly lower on the on the cores versus the cartridges themselves. And that's something that I can actually show you right now. I've got my copy of Crystal Clear and we're gonna just put this one on max. So this is max right here. So that's max volume. Now, if you go to crystal clear, you'll hear the difference. That is much louder. So let's quit this. So as you can tell, it is much louder on the cartridge versus the cores. Now, this is something that I'm guessing is gonna be fixed in a later update. But for right now, it's just something you got to deal with. But all right, let's go to, let's go back to the Lion King. This loads very quickly, so it should not have an issue. But sometimes, look, sometimes stuff does not work right. Interesting. So not everything seems to be compatible, but that just might be specific ROM error. Last time I used a different ROM. Let's go to this one here. There you go. Now let's run through the game real quick. Okay, here we go. OK, 
Okay, here we are, The Lion King. Usually in Super Nintendo it says, it starts. This one is not. That's like a ladybug here. It runs pretty good, I gotta say. Can't wait to see what happens with some of the other systems. It's gonna be awesome. Like Super Nintendo or Nintendo itself. All right, look, runs no problem though. Let's try one more and then we'll go to, we'll go to the next. Okay, let's do Sonic the Hedgehog. That was a popular one. <laughs> Good old Sega. Like I said, this runs very well. Have to get used to the buttons though. Okay. That runs very good, I gotta say. <laughs> nice. All right, yeah, this is awesome. All right, Game Gear is amazing here. Let's go to Master System now. This is another console specific. So we have another console, home console on here now. Let's run it. 1985, man, this is a little up there. Uh, let's go to Sega. Let's go to Sonic the Hedgehog again. Nice, look at this. It's beautiful. That looks really good. Runs. Very good, I'm not gonna lie. This is awesome. All right, this is very good. Master System is working pretty good. There we go. Just like the Game Gear. <laughs> nice. Oh, good thing I was already invincible, so I didn't die. Cool. Okay, let's lower this a little bit. Okay. So, try that Master System game. Let's go to another one. Uh, let's do... How about Mortal Kombat? It's a pretty good one to play. You can tell the aspect ratio is different, considering this is for the TV. I'm sure there are ways to get rid of the black if you want to fill it in, but I'll try and keep it as close as possible. Interesting, so I don't want you to read all this, I guess. Here we go. Start. Start. Right. Okay. okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Sonya one. Flawless victory. It's just like the modern modern combat, just like it. <laughs> Look at how old these games are. Nice. Nice. Cool. Master System. Awesome. Looks really good. And last but not least, it's going to be Sega. Oh, yeah, I don't have too much for this one. So let's try. Uh, I think this is Galaga. You can't go wrong with Galaga. Let me tell you. Classic that's really good. There we go. Damn, right there. Only one left. Let me. All right. Galaga works very good. I only have one more to really check out for that one. 
And last but not least, Bomberman Japanese. Here we go. It looks, like I said, it runs very good. Let me tell you. These cores are amazing. I can't wait to see what else they have. Oh, pause it. There we go. Bomberman looks a little different here. It's a little up there, but, you know. What is it? Where? Where we get back here? There we go. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for my next video to I'll show you what you need to do in order to get these open FPGA cores on the pocket, and that's it. So let's get into the next video, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, everyone. Have a good one.